Hello Internet, Malto here and I'm going to tell you a little bit about XSplit Broadcaster. For some time now I've been broadcasting the on-screen goings on of my adventures to the Internet and who would dare watch me. And I'm going to take a little time out of the day and tell you about scenes. Scenes basically provide you with 12 different presets that allows you to arrange media and in other information on the screen such that your viewers are informed and you are not obstructed. And I'll show you how to do that right now. What I've got is a background image here that's basically every letter of the alphabet as you might recognize it. With this particular image it's possible for me to pull out, for instance, the letter M. Now if my intention was to display a large luminescent M to the viewers, I would have done so with three clicks. Pretty simple stuff. Now if I wanted to resize it or drag it around, you can see what I'm doing on the right side of the screen. It's pretty easy. It's a click and drag operation. Really couldn't get much easier. Now this M is going to sit there and be in your guys' way until I remove it like so. Now, prior to the stream, I set up some keybinds that allows me to cycle through some particular letters. Okay. Now, this is a quick and dirty way to show you how to do uh, basic image manipulation with scenes. Uh, the problem with the way I'm doing it is if I were to bring up the letter F again, should I move my window in front of it, it will be obscured. Now, this seems like a make or break thing, but XSplit has accounted for that. It's pretty simple. If your intention is to display the full viewing area of a media file, be it an image or a picture, it's a simple matter of adding it, like I'm doing right now. So I have this huge cat being shot by a battleship, and I'm dra dragging it around the screen exactly the same way I did with the screen region before. Pretty simple. And again, he's going to stay there until I choose to remove him, like so. Prior to the stream, I set up a few keybinds that allow me to convey some pretty simple emotions for you guys. Now these images themselves may not speak volumes, but they, in combination with what's happening on screen, can form a very entertaining and powerful differentiator between you and other streamers. It's viewer retention that these things provide you with. You know, this guy may not be very funny to you or to anybody else, but it, in combination with you losing your shit in Ventrilo over some failure online, it's pretty hilarious from experience. Now this, is, this is, again, has been a really quick and dirty way to use the scenes. Um, it's possible for you to set up uh, HUDs or GUIs to allow you to show who's playing, what the score is, how far the game has progressed, as well as display different cameras, um, stream sources, you know, you have it. It's, it's really up to you to be creative with it. They've provided you with a very simple to use um, system that allows you up to 12 different presets, which is probably more than most of you can come up with. Prove me wrong. So I hope this was at least uh, informative to some of you, and if not, feel free to flame me in the comments.